Salutations, everybody. This is, well, you know who this is. This is Razor13 here giving you some Team Deathmatch on Nuketown. I know you haven't seen a Nuketown fit for me in a while, and uh, it's also been a while since I've used the FAMAS. So that's what I'm going to be using here today. I'm going to be posting up a B score here on regular Team Deathmatch. And you haven't seen me use the FAMAS in a while because, in, in all honesty, I don't use the gun very often. This is actually a really old gameplay. Uh, I just decided to use it for whatever reason today. But yeah, I don't have very many FAMAS gameplays because I don't I don't tend to do very well with the weapon anymore. I mean, yeah, it's still in like my uh, my top four kills on my combat record, but uh, it's nowhere close to like my, my top what six seven on my kill death ratio wise. You see me jumping for joy that I got a napalm there because napalm is awesome. It's uh, it's like liquid fire, and as you can see, I got my claymore covering my six, because you know Nuketown spawns would be jumping all over the place, especially with napalm. If you've seen my earlier controlling spawns in Nuketown video, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, like I said, the FAMAS, man, yeah, it's by far the most uh, popular gun in the game. It's the most used, it's the most abused, and it's the cheapest weapon there is. Um, I, I'm honestly not that good with the gun. Uh, when Black Ops first came out, uh, I only used it in firing range, and I used it quite well. Uh, you can see in like my first couple videos, uh, I think it was Moss on firing range, and uh, I did pretty well with it. And that was really the only time I used Moss, and it was my most killed gun, and it was pretty good. Kill death, like it was like a 2.14 or something at one point, 2.16, I forget. But yeah, I did pretty well with the FAMAS when the Black Ops first came out. Most people were using 74Us at the time, but uh, since then the trend has switched up to the FAMAS because, you know, of the uh, better range and it, you know, it basically has stopping power with it. It has very little recoil. And whenever I get killed by it, I swear. To goodness, sometimes it's like there's zero re recoil on this thing. It's like they're firing an ACR that kills in three bullets, and I, I, I hate getting killed by that gun uh, because everyone uses it. You know, I don't mind the AUG as much because I know that uh, it's less common for people to use. If I'm not getting killed by a FAMAS, Galil, Commando, or 74U, something is amiss. Because uh, those four guns by are the guns I get killed by the most. And uh, it's not by a little bit. And the FAMAS, of course, is uh, the most popular. You can see I get uh, wiped out there by this guy who's got Commando Pro. But as you can see, I knew I had a guy up in second chance there. So I'm going to go ahead and waste him. I knew he had friends there. The Claymore is still there. And bam, I get a double kill. That's called observation, ladies and gentlemen. Throw down that Claymore to cover my six. Because I know the spawns will spawn. Which eventually, and we keep these pansy ass campers back up here in Nuketown. And another thing about Nuketown, man, noobs love their Formosas, noobs love their Nuketown. It doesn't matter if they go, you know, two and ninety-seven, they'll pick, they'll vote for Nuketown again. I, I don't know why these these sadomasochists plays this game, but you know, you know, more power to them and my kill death ratio. Thanks them for it. I honestly don't even like Nuketown as a map uh, very much. Uh, extremely campy, very noob friendly, and uh, I just I just don't like the map that much. Even though a generous portion amount of the time I'll get a pretty decent score with it. And as you can see, I wiped out there because like I was trying to reload and didn't finish it or whatever. Doesn't matter. I got a second chopper gunner, which is quite rare in a regular TDM. As you can see, it post up up here in the the bedroom area, because uh, that's probably not where they're going to first look for me. But even if they do, it's alright. I just decide to uh, stay inside so that there's more spawn points that the enemy can spawn outside. And that's what I like to do when I got a chopper gun, or if it's on a small map. If it's on a bigger map, it doesn't really matter. I'll you know, pick a nice little you know, covered area outside. And you know, be sure not to shoot myself. When it comes to Chopper Gunner Nuketown, you know the deal. You know, just shoot in the backyards, play Geometry Wars, and own these friggin' little red squares all day long. And hope they don't shoot you down. And, uh, you just gotta, you know, be lucky that they, uh, they don't have their Strela rockets going on. That was not the case in this gameplay, as you can see. 
I do get quite a good amount of kills and you know high in the garage right next to the door not a smart idea buddy you're gonna get killed and thankfully I had like a three bar or something magical on this map because I was getting kills in my chopper gunner sometimes I'll go like I'll get like 12 hit markers on a guy with a chopper gunner and he won't die and it, that seems to be even more common when they got Strela missiles I don't know if they're lock on to you it seems like they cannot die and as you can see I made the mistake of trying to shoot through the banister here because even if you have hardened pro and a light machine gun those banisters in this game will screw you up 24 7 uh, especially banisters in Christ look at those noobs having a little second chance party back there you try to shoot through the banisters in crisis it is not gonna bode well for you those things are made out of animantium son and I don't know why this guy thought that as a corner shrub was a nice little spot to hide but as you can see no matter what gun I use, you hide in the corner, you're gonna be dead, son. And uh, they have the nice little noob mobiles going in action. Noobs love their second chance as well. And this guy was lucky not to get killed. And I post up my highest kills on a regular team deathmatch in Black Ops: 52 kills, uh, six deaths, and one assist. Man, 52 kills in a regular team deathmatch. You you definitely do not see that that often. And give it a like rating. If you agree, uh, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. You know what? Don't do me a favor. You don't owe me anything. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to this channel because you're going to be liking this content. I'll see you guys later.